and first item or, or the only item today, Senator Mulhern. It's, it's an import, important item. Uh, Minister, thanks for coming in this morning uh, to take this uh, important issue. Uh, we're facing into the implementation of a new rural water multi-annual programme from 2019 to 2021. And I'm asking, uh, Minister, uh, that households in Mayo, uh, in the areas of Don Patrick, from oil and also at Caramore, which is at Ballycastle County Mayo, would for once and uh, be able to uh, provision be made for them uh, to get a proper water connection, where water which they can drink, water which they can use to wash their clothes, water that they can shower in, uh, which sadly they have been lacking and missing for years and years and have been uh, making the case for years. Um, I want to welcome the new multi-annual programme and uh, the sensible inclusion of Measure 6, which provides for community connections. Down Patrick, in particular, has had a very raw deal. Uh, for years and years, uh, and I mean that, um, they have been falling outside criteria. And last year, uh, they were deemed uh, ineligible, basically, because uh, in order to provide their scheme, it would have to be built and then connect into uh, a scheme operated or the public mains operated by Irish Water and there was no provision for that within the criteria. I see this has been addressed this year and I'd be very hopeful, uh, Minister, that this scheme uh, could get the green light and that funding of uh, 229,500, which is needed to deliver the scheme, uh, can be put in place and allocated. Um, this would serve a total of 17 domestic connections. And I suppose the problem here is, Minister, and what people have been toiling with for the years is that uh, they have tried in vain to drill wells to get water from other sources. Uh, there's a problem, not a pollution problem, but a problem in actually the ground conditions uh, that uh, exist to the particular area. There's a lot of iron in the water and are also arsenic, which is naturally occurring but it means you can't drink the water. And if you saw the water, it's actually red. You couldn't wash your clothes in it. So actually in the village of Ballycastle, people go in to the pump, manual pump on the street, and they get water from a pump. And that's what they have to bring back to use, um, which is unbelievable in this day and age. And then other than that, they have to buy water to drink. Um, I think um, when you consider the debate uh, that pertained in relation to equity of treatment of all citizens of our state in relation to water, it really is imperative that we fund these type of projects so that people can have access to water. And I might say that when all the, the debate was raging about whether citizens should play for water or not, these uh, households weren't shy at coming forward to say, will you give this cheque to the minister and tell him I'll pay for my water? They're at their wit's end, they've spent loads of money and they still don't have a water supply. Equally, Caramore, there's about 18 houses there. It's a separate um, application to the Downpatrick uh, scheme. Uh, those people are equally in a dilemma and really they have nowhere to turn if the state won't help them. And I'd also ask that that, would, that particular scheme would be given a priority. And I suppose finally for Moyle, um, I know from my own background work that there's an issue around the cost per unit is considered too costly under the current criteria. The reality is that's not the, the household's problem that, or a fault because the, the additional cost arises because of dispersed housing and the fact that the ground conditions, rock, bedrock, um, topography, uh, makes, uh, adds to the cost. It needs more engineering works to be carried out to actually deliver the schemes. And quite frankly, if we're serious about, you know, providing water for households across the country, regardless of your urban or rural, this has to be addressed and there has to be uh, additional funds put in place uh, to support communities here. And as I said, these are, these are coming to the state as a last resort. If they could drill their own wells, they would. Uh, and get satisfactory water supply, but they can't. So it's, it's a problem, Minister, and it's up to us to, to sort it. Uh, and I add as well that this is a problem which is particularly experienced by Mayo and Galway because of our rural populations and they need help. And I'd ask uh, that this be, these schemes be given a priority uh, as we look forward to the announcement of uh, the multi-annual funding this year, which I believe will be late April, May, when it's announced. Uh, they really need some, some good news. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Minister. Thank you very much.
Kerlick, and uh, I just want to thank uh, Senator Mulhern for raising this matter, and I'm happy to respond on behalf of my colleague, uh, Minister Owen Murphy. I can assure the Senator and the House that the Government is committed to ensuring that the people in rural Ireland are supported by ask accessing good quality water and wastewater services. And on the 8th of February 2019, Minister Murphy announced a new investment programme for water services in rural areas. The multi-annual rural water programme 2019 to 2021 capital funding of 23 million has been provided in 2019. An increase of 3 million from 2018 in the previous programme. Also on the 8th of February, local authorities were invited to submit their bids to the Department of Housing, um, Housing Planning and Local Government for funding of the schemes uh, or projects in their functional areas, with the deadline for receipt being the 14th of March 2019. I understand that Mayo County Council have included Don Patrick Head in its bid applications under the department, uh, to the department under, under Measure 6. Uh, community Connection, Water and Wastewater Networks of the Multiannual Programme. The Department is currently considering uh, the applications received from local authorities. An expert panel has been put in place to support the evaluation process. In addition to providing an expert uh, perspective, the panel brings independence, openness and trans transparency to the bid evaluation process, which is undertaken on a national prioritised basis. The expert panel's membership includes departmental uh, stakeholder and independent representation. The panel will make recommendations to the Department on the suitability of schemes and projects for funding based on objective criteria, criteria which are set out in the framework document. The Department will consider the recommendations of the panel and based on these uh, will propose allocations for consideration by the Minister. The Minister expects the process to be completed in the second quarter of 2019. A proposed uh, firm oil group water scheme was included in the bids by Mayo County Council in 2016 under the previous multi-annual funding cycle at a unit cost of 22,000 per house. The panel assembled by the department to review the bid concluded that the cost of the proposed scheme was excessive and did not recommend it for funding. The department understands from the council that that situation has remained unchanged and the council did not include the proposed firm oil scheme in its recent bid under the current um, funding scheme. In relation to Caramore, which you mentioned, uh, I do not have a response on that one here, but I will ask the Department to come back to you uh, directly on that with a response. But I think it is important to note that households that cannot access a group water scheme or a public supply through the Irish Water Network do have other alternatives to improve the domestic water supply if necessary. The individual's well grant under the Department rural water programme can be assess, uh, accessed through Mayo County Council to assist with the provision or necessary improvement of individual water supply to households. Following on from the review of rural water services that Minister Murphy put in place in 2018, in February this year he has also announced improvements to the grants available to private well owners. This will take effect from the end of April in a few weeks' time. The maximum grant for the refurbishment works to a domestic well will increase from 2,031 to 3,000. A new and additional provision is included for the maximum grant of 5,000 where a new well is required in an exceptional uh, measure. I hope this clarifies the matter uh, in relation to the group of war schemes identified. Thank you very much. Thanks, Minister. Yeah, just briefly, thank you uh, for uh, your agreeing to revert to me in relation to Caramore. I appreciate that. Um, I have hope, Minister. Um, we've had several schemes in Mayo, and every time they change the rules, one scheme gets, it, gets brought into the net. And this is, it's been very piecemeal, uh, but it's going to make a big difference for the people here concerned. And I think that all of us can agree that in this day and age, to be, having, to, to be bringing water to your house and, and drawing it in the way that I've described and living with that for years and years is not an easy way to live, especially for older people and for people with children. It's, it's, a, it's a, an essential commodity that we all take for granted, and I'd like to see some fair play uh, for these households. And thank you for your thank you. Thank you, Senator Minister. For attendance. Uh, well, I would say, Senator, that I concur wholeheartedly. I, I come from a rural uh, a part of Galway, and uh, we have some issues with water supply still. We, we, I'm, I'm working hard within, within the Department of uh, Climate Action and Communications on the broadband issue for rural areas, and we say that's an essential. But we still have places in the country where we don't have uh, 
uh, a possible water supply and, and, and uh, security, and this is something that we have to, to, to address. Um, I, I do appreciate that, and I know that in, in say, in Kilrikil in Galway, which does not still have a supply, that we've moved to combine uh, our another our group water scheme have, have generously uh, from from Capitagal have generously allowed their water to be su supplied to the community, and uh, all of the due diligence has been done on that. And just to say that the um, the, the, the the important thing is that um, I think we need to fill the, the gaps that are remaining in terms of water supply, and uh, you have a particular uh, interest in, in uh, one or two of the schemes where maybe the water supply through well is not available either. So I would suggest that maybe that will be something that will be looked at between the Council and, and the Department. And priority, perhaps. Well, I would say that uh, I, I, I won't take on the, uh, too much licence uh, on behalf of the Minister Murphy here today. I just say that I will bring back the concerns in, in, the view, in view of the fact that the water supply from the well is not, um, is, is not safe, it's not, it's not potable, and uh, effectively uh, I, I will ask him to talk, or his officials to talk to me or County Council in relation to that. Um, I think uh, you hit the nail on the head when you mentioned about uh, paying for water and water charges, and we still have to understand that there are some people in this country who would love to be able to pay for the supply of water uh, if they could get hold of it, and, and, and that is a problem. Even though we have so much rain in the country, we still don't have it uh, possible in certain areas. But I think huge efforts have been made over, over decades, and I want to compliment the group water schemes and what they have done for, for, uh, for rural Ireland and the, the leadership they've shown throughout the years, and uh, we will continue to work on that. Thank you.